Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that Janice has been acting like a crackhead for the past like half hour. How? Yeah, how not? I've literally been sitting on my phone. I've never done anything like that. You never done anything like no, that? No, never you... in my life. No, oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a little taste of what she was doing. What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So before we actually get into this video, I do have to say, Bloober is behind us. I'm sure you guys are wondering, how is he doing? He's doing just fine. He's been <laughs> resting very sleepy the past like day and a half, as you would assume he'd be. But again, everything is all good and great with him. But now on to today's video. Today we are going to be reacting to our subscribers cheating stories. Ooh. Now disclaimer, we are keeping this 100% anonymous. You guys were kind enough to share your stories with us and your <laughs> not so fun experiences. So we will respect your privacy, but- Some of you are still mad till this day. Based on just how you guys like typed it to us, you, we can tell you guys are still like very upset about it. As you guys should be. But what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna read off one, Janice is gonna read off another, and we're gonna go back and forth until we have no more. So who wants to start it off first? You can start first. Oh, well, that's right, that's fine. Gentlemen, see, what a gentleman. What a gentleman. Chivalry is in it, what? Gentlewoman. You just call me a woman? Actually, yeah, ladies first. Ooh. Three, two. Oh, I'm frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's staying in the video. That's staying in the video. That is that's the proof that I was looking for to show that you was being a crackhead. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> that's making it to the video, guys. That's that's no, example. Nah. Yes, it is. That's example number We're one. Edit that shit out. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. My first one is my ex pretended to be on a business trip, but was at a hotel close to us with his manager. Ooh. Now, girl, that is it's a girl, right? It's a girl. Yes, it is a girl. I want to know how you found out. That just sucks. That was a oof. What would you call that? That's like some work work scandal. Yeah, a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of cheating stories happen in the workplace. Where that see that goes back to like the video we did like a couple days, not even a couple days ago, like a couple weeks ago, where we were like all oh, that work wife or mm -hmm, the work. Exactly. See, so, yeah, he was probably calling her. Oh yeah, that's my work wife or whatever. And then next thing you know, they banging in the freaking closet. Prime in the back. example, guys. Prime example. Girl, I hope you moved on from that because obviously he ain't. Yes, yeah, seriously. This is a long story, but this girl went through her ex's phone because he was acting sketchy. They were together for two years and they were living together. And she found out that he was living a whole Hannah Montana lifestyle. He had a baby behind my back and was playing house with his baby mama. Not only that, but he was entertaining so many other different women, women and had another Snapchat that he would talk to them on. And he would send nudes, a whole bunch of pictures, etc. And once she found out, he tried to act like being a victim pretty much and she still was like I have screenshots and evidence she said that he's still doing it to this day and she's the only one who got her heart broken so wait she's still with him no she said that they're no longer together and that he goes and tells all of his friends actually that she was the one who cheated wow yo my boy was really living a double life like a second life that's crazy and he had a baby with someone else hey yo that's insane you have, yo. you'd be surprised i have so many more like these yo men ain't shit literally i'm glad you know yeah that's what i'm talking about right that's right right wrong Ooh. um say it say it. i'm 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 the exception say it i'm the exception <laughs> you just always gotta find a loophole with everything i swear <laughs> nah but for real though that's crazy he was really living a second life that one honestly left me speechless i don't got really much to say about that i actually have some that are like crazier than that so, really yeah oh, let's man. hear I, your next one i feel like you got the crazy ones <laughs> all right well i feel like all of mine are short compared to yours this one says i called my ex cheating on me in our room and i was three months pregnant at the time Damn, bro. I feel like a lot of these cheating stories have to do with like the guy cheating while the girl's pregnant. Most like that's most likely how like they're all gonna be. Most of the times it's like the men cheat, but I'm not gonna lie, there are women out there that be cheating. We're mm -hmm. not gonna act like that's not a thing. But most of the time I will say you will find the man cheating first. But dang, bro, you're gonna cheat on your girl when she's already three months pregnant? And three months pregnant, that's fresh into the pregnancy. So what the hell? You found out she's pregnant and you're like, mm, let me cheat. Like, Not even to mention like the type of stress and what that's going to do to her emotionally. Right. That also affects the baby. That's really f***ed up. Bro, and you're a dad at like, that point. Like, come on now. Like, grow up. Come yeah, on. that's really bad. But like I said, I feel like mine are short. What's yours next one? 
All right, my next one is crazy. I feel like this is the one that like I remembered the most from what I read. So the thing says, my girlfriend had to get together with her friends and we all got drunk, but I was in my room and I texted her to come because I wanted to know she wanted Taco Bell. Two minutes later, her best friend comes in and my girl left to chill with her friends in the living room. Her best friend stayed behind and she gave me a hug and she felt my thing. One thing led to another and we did the nasty and it was one of the best nights of my life and I still don't regret it. So she cheated and doesn't regret it? No, he cheated with his girlfriend's best friend and his girlfriend still doesn't know about it because she was in the living room and she had already left the room and she was drunk with her friends chilling. Homeboy, I hope your girl don't watch our videos. Oh my god. But my thing is like, I don't know if I were in her position I'd be like where my best friend at? My Bro, man is missing. My best friend is missing. Even if I'm drunk I, I'd be like see everybody needs to be in this You vicinity. say that until you're drunk and then when you're drunk It's like you're like in a whole nother world. You don't even pay attention to details like that But that's just crazy. I really hope that the girl don't watch these videos because I hope she do. I hope she find out. I, she, that you, Janice, you don't know how that might escalate. That <laughs> someone, someone gonna end up in the in the hospital or something like that. That's just, bro. I don't, I wouldn't even have said that to us. That's a really right? detailed story. And if your girl watched this video, she gonna find out. She gonna remember that. And day. it was from a fake account. It was from like a Finsta. A lot of these. He playing it safe. He's yeah. playing it safe. I tell you, he's smart. It's kind crazy. Of. It's crazy. A lot of these confessions are from Finstas, like fake accounts or spam accounts or whatever. Oh, man. I see what y'all doing. Y'all ain't low. They slick. That's how they still they still haven't gotten caught yet. I know. They that's slick. crazy, man. That's so bad. You, you foul, bro, y'all. You foul. Come You're on, bro. You're trifling. Nah, bro. You got to confess to that. Don't don't be out here doing that. That's wrong. Well, he said that he has no regrets to this day. And he uh, said clearly, he really you don't have it. no regrets. You still live in your life like nothing happened. I mean, don't worry. Bro, don't Karma's going like to get you. Yeah. Karma's going to get that ass. Come on, bro. All right, guys. So my next one is he went to go do DoorDash. But I passed by his house and he was in this chick's car making out. I, I have no words for that one. I want to know how you had suspicions and you drove by his house to begin with. Was he acting funny? Was he just off? Like, what would you say? I just, I'm, I'm questioning the same thing. I'm like, I literally feel like girls have that sense. Like, they know when something's wrong. They know when something's up. They get it. I want to know what is it that you guys get that throws you guys off and be like, mm, he's he's off, he's cheating. Like, it's he's just a gut feeling. Is it though? Or is yeah. it like something that the guy is like slipping up and he's like leaving hints without even him knowing? It could be. All right, well, either way, I feel like mine are really short and kind of like boring, to be honest. Janice has like the really detailed ones, so we're going to finish off with her doing all these because honestly, yours is looking crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't wait to hear these. So one of the ones says, my boyfriend was cheating on me while I was pregnant and I had two kids with him. He got caught because my daughter snitched on him and said she caught him kissing another girl. Damn. <laughs> Dang, it's going to be your own blood that's going to snitch on you? Yeah, so she said that the daughter, like he took the daughter to meet this other girl. Not expecting her to snitch because she was a toddler. Bro, she you went stupid. and told mommy everything. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why would you even do that? You set yourself up for failure. Not going to lie. I did that when I was younger. But you set yourself, he did it to himself. That's how I feel. Like you men out there think that your daughters oh. and your children are like dumb. Bro, like she's not gonna remember that like let's say if, if even if she didn't know what was going on at the time like five years she's older here we go she's thinking about like oh i remember that one time daddy brought me to go meet this girl and then you mm -hmm. say that in front of the mom and the mom's gonna be like what girl and then she explains the story right there the ch bro the truth is gonna come out either today or five years later it's gonna happen eventually but bro you set yourself up it's crazy that's bad that that happened to me but damn bro you did but, it to yourself yeah that was crazy you that's set yourself up for failure that, that was it right there <laughs> that was bad yeah, so he and she said that this persisted for four years. Next story. That's Crazy, just... right? I caught my boyfriend doing the nasty with another girl in his car across the street from my house. See, this is another. Guys, are you dumb? Guys, like, guys, <laughs> why are you setting yourself up for failure? And I'm not condoning cheating, but if you're gonna cheat, bro, at least be smart about it. Why are you gonna do it? Literally, it. In front of your girl's house. Right. Why? Why would you? Why? You're, it's kind of really She peeks stupid. out the window. She wanted to see the moon. She saw another full moon. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you setting yourself up for failure. Why would you do that? I think that's really dumb. I just feel like, yeah, you just, you set yourself up. Like, if you wanted to break up, you should just broke up her. Like, honestly, she was, how did you think she wasn't going to catch you? And then how did that situation even happen? Oh, meet me in front of my girl's house. Let's have fun in my car. 
Bro, let's just what? don't look. Like, I hope he had tints at least. At least be somewhat smart about it. Have I tints, doubt it. But... Men are stupid. Oh, yeah, I know, right? All right, next one is I was doing my boyfriend's exam for him online and I accidentally clicked on a notification that popped up from Instagram. And turn, turns out someone was sending him nudes. Now, I'm gonna be the first to say it, that you did not click on that notification by accident. You were being nosy and for good reason, you found exactly what you were looking for. Mm -hmm. So kudos to you, girl. But damn well, that wasn't no dang accident. But I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that too. Honestly, yeah, it wasn't an accident. Why would you send nudes through social media too? I feel like if your account got hacked or something like that, like bro, it's over for you at that point. I don't know. I just feel like guys think that that's like a way to not get caught through your No, but it was messages. the girl sending nudes to him. Right. But like, why? Why? Like, I would just, if I'm sending nudes, I would text the nudes. I'm not going to send it on social media because again, if something gets hacked or whatever, it's over. I don't know, honestly. And they I, have I your social media. I don't understand that logic because yeah. I would never do something and, stupid like that. But think about it. Then they have their, they have your social media already. So they can just take that picture and just post it on your story or something right there. And now it's over. Not smart at all. So the last one I have, actually, no, I have one more. I was with a guy for three years. Come to find out he was cheating on me with my mom. Ooh. I walked in on them and that's how I ended up finding out. Bro, that's a whole nother level of like, what? I was, I'm sorry, but me and Hold my on, mom so would it, have to fight. <laughs> it was the boyfriend doing the girl's mom? Yeah, I think so. Yo. That's I, really bad. Bro. That's just a line that you don't cross. It's, I don't know who's worse, the boyfriend or their mom. Right? I think it's a mom, bro. Honestly. I'm thinking about that. Hold on. I feel like some moms, like, they want... They're like jealous of their daughters or something like that. And they have that like, oh my God, like she's young and youthful and she took my youth away and like I need to go and you know, take that I don't take think that that's back. it. I think she's just a cougar. I think that's really no, it. Because, she wanted some young me. No, because it's like, if you know what I'm talking about, like I've seen it so many times, like people get jealous of their daughters. They really do. And I see that, but away, I don't like, see that scenario. Happiness. I don't see that scenario is that she was jealous of her daughter. I think the mom right there is just a cougar. She liked the way the man looked and bada bing, bada boom. Like, <laughs> so this is actually my last one and it's when I was in high school I asked my ex to homecoming and I asked him with a sign and a cake and everything and it was a corny sophomore thing and he ended up saying yes the whole night he was acting super weird and on his phone then all of a sudden he takes off to the bathroom and he was gone for 30 minutes I got worried so I went to go look for him and I called him and he didn't answer I kept looking for him and come to find out I saw him getting thingy top top. <laughs> top top by another girl and I ended up grabbing the girl by her hair. Wait, was this in the bathroom? Uh, no, it doesn't say where it was. If it was in the bathroom, unsanitary. Room. unsanitary. <laughs> well, go ahead. And she said she ended up grabbing the girl by her hair and basically beating her up and realized that it was one of her teammates. And then she found out that they were talking for almost three months and meeting up and everything. And she saw hickeys on her neck. And when she asked, she would say it was her sneaky link and it was my boyfriend the whole time. The girl wasn't lying, it was her sneaky link. But girl, good <gasps> for you for beating her ass yeah, in that right? bathroom. You dragged her and everything. That's what I like to hear. I would've, woof. But like I said, if it was in the bathroom, that's unsanitary, bro. Come on, do it in the car at least or something. I would've stuck that girl's whole head in the toilet. See, another thing is too, if you're gonna do that, bro, don't be gone for a half hour. That's way too noticeable. That's what I'm saying. Like, if all these have people who link, cheat are dumb. Like, like if you're gonna have a sneaky link, bro, like go for like 10 minutes and be like, oh yeah, I was like freshening up in the bathroom or whatever. That's why it took 10 minutes. Don't take no 30, yo. That's way too obvious. Obviously, she's gonna go looking for you. Honestly, the whole point I feel is just like these stories are all telling you not to cheat. Don't cheat. Like, what is the excitement? What do you get no, out of it? But I feel like cheating is just like common sense. Like, you know how to get caught and how to not get caught like you should know what to do what not to do and a lot of these guys they i feel like they don't know what to do i feel like these people just like want to hurt people bro i feel like more of the story is that if you looking for pleasure somewhere else just end it with your current person like exactly. don't go ahead and cheat that's just gonna you're gonna damage like people's emotions and stuff like that and not to mention it's not a good look for your new girl or your new sneaky link. She's gonna be known as like the HOE. You know what I mean? That's not that's not cool. But I mean that's pretty much it. Like I said, mine were pretty boring. Janice had like the really spicy ones. If you guys wanted part two about this, 
Let us know down below, smash that thumbs up button. It is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Diamond Gilliam. Thank you so much for your love and support. Isaiah and I love you. If you want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on those post notification bells so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all of that being said, don't cheat on your significant other. I was just about to say that. And we will catch you in the next video. <sighs> don't cheat, especially not in a bathroom.